So here are the stats after using Block Strap and Frost Strap with the best fast flag settings after the new Roblox patch. In today's video, I'm showing you exactly which launcher gives higher FPS, lower ping, and smoother gameplay. So let's break it down and boost your Roblox performance right now. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Make your CPU work at full power by unlocking all processors. In this first step, we are going to make your computer's CPU run at full strength. You need to press the Windows key on your keyboard and type System Configuration in the search bar. And when the option appears, click on it to open the Settings window so we can start tweaking your system. Inside the window, click the Boot tab at the top and then click Advanced Options, which will open a smaller Settings window where the important changes will happen. In this new pop-up, check the box that says Number of Processors, then click the drop-down menu and choose the highest number you see, because that number is the total amount of CPU cores your system has. By picking the highest number, you allow Windows to use every single CPU core instead of leaving some cores unused, giving Roblox access to all available processing power. After selecting the highest number, click OK, then click Apply, and close the window to save everything properly. Finally, restart your PC to activate these system changes, and once your computer restarts, Roblox will already feel smoother because your CPU is no longer holding back. Step 2. Best Block Strap Settings After the new update to boost FPS in Roblox, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Many players think Roblox optimization is impossible after the update removed fast flags, but that's actually not true because Blockstrap still has important settings that improve FPS and stability. And once it finishes installing, open it and click Configure Settings, which will take you to different tabs that we will adjust step by step. This part is simple, but each setting gives a small performance improvement. Integrations tab. Turn on the following. Enable activity tracking in Discord. This only shows what game you're playing and does not affect FPS negatively. Query version location. Turn this off because it stops unnecessary background version checks that can slightly slow your PC. Don't exit to desktop app. Keep this on, so Roblox launches faster without the desktop launcher delay. You can also turn off show in game activity if you want to save a little more CPU power. After adjusting everything, scroll down and click Save. Bootstrapper tab. This section controls how Roblox starts up and manages files. Turn on prompt on conflicts when launching another Roblox instance. This prevents crashes if Roblox accidentally opens twice. Turn off background updates. This stops Roblox from updating during gameplay, which can cause FPS spikes. Force Roblox reinstallation should stay off unless you're manually reinstalling Roblox. Click. Save once finished. Mods tab. This section helps with visuals and small performance tweaks. Set mouse cursor to default so it stays smooth. Turn on. Use old avatar editor background. This reduces GPU usage in menus. You can turn off emulate old character sounds, which slightly helps CPU usage. Select preferred energy type. Default for balanced performance. You can also open the mods folder and delete mods you don't use to save memory. Click Save. Engine Settings tab. These settings directly affect FPS and gameplay smoothness. Turn on. Allow Block Strap to manage fast flags. Helps with game stability. Change the following. Anti-aliasing quality, MSAA, low, gives more FPS. Preserve rendering quality with scaling. Off, prevents lag. Rendering mode, automatic, lets block strap choose the best option. Texture quality, automatic or low, best for low-end PCs. Click save again. Appearance tab. This won't affect FPS, but helps block strap feel clean and modern. Set global theme, dark, language, English, and keep bootstrapper style at default or minimal for a simple layout. Shortcuts tab. This lets you create shortcuts for Roblox or settings, which doesn't affect performance but makes launching Roblox easier. Click. Save one last time. You've now completed the best block strap settings for maximum FPS after the new update, but after testing both launchers, Frost Strap clearly performs much better. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, Download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. 
If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 3. Use Froststrap and FastFlax to boost Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Here's where things get exciting. The new Froststrap launcher is now the number one performance launcher after the Roblox patch, and it's basically an upgraded version of Plexity with much stronger FPS boosts. Download Froststrap launcher from your FPS boost pack or from the official site, install it, then search for Froststrap in Windows and open it. Click Configure Settings to start setting everything up properly. Integrations tab. Turn on. Enable activity tracking. Helps Froststrap optimize your performance. Query server location. Shows which server you're connected to. Playtime counter. Helps with long session memory management. Game history menu. Lets you rejoin recent games faster. Bootstrapper tab. These settings improve loading speed and cleanup. Set file deletion schedule to after two months. Turn on cache cleanup to remove outdated files. Turn on logs. Move to free space. Enable Froststrap logs for faster future startups. Mods tab. Adjust visuals without losing FPS. Turn off. Use old avatar editor background. Turn off. Emulate old character sounds for cleaner visuals. Keep mouse cursor, default. Set preferred emoji. Type default to emojis. Fast flag settings, the secret sauce. Anti-aliasing quality, RMAA, two times, pause weather, on, gray sky, on, disable grass, on, low poly meshes, on, rendering mode, Vulcan, fast flags, editor, click. I know what I'm doing, then click, add new. Copy the fast flags text from your FPS boost pack and paste it here. Click OK to save everything. Appearance tab, set theme, dark, window, backdrop, mica, keep the default font, and language set to English, US. And now the result. After testing, Froststrap clearly wins. FPS went from around 120 on Plexity to over 560 plus FPS on Froststrap with smoother gameplay, lower input delay, and no lag spikes. After the new Roblox patch, Froststrap is the best and gives huge FPS boost. Step four, unpark CPU cores to make your processor work better for gaming. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU has multiple cores that work together like small workers, but sometimes Windows Parks disables some of them to save power, which causes lag and Roblox. To fix this, open the Unpark CPU tool from your FPS Boost Pack, right-click it, and choose Run as Administrator so the tool can make the correct system changes. When it opens, you'll see all your CPU cores listed, and if any say parked, that means they aren't being used. Click Unpark, and the tool will activate all cores instantly. This ensures Windows always uses 100% of your CPU power while gaming, giving smoother FPS, fewer lag spikes, and more stability during big Roblox games. Step 5. Optimize game mode and graphics settings for Roblox. This last step makes sure your PC gives maximum focus to Roblox every time you play. Open Windows settings, game mode, and turn it on so Windows prioritizes Roblox over background programs. Then search graphics settings, click Add Desktop App, look for Roblox Player Beta.exe, and add it. After adding it, click Options, High Performance, Save, which makes your GPU give full power to Roblox. Once this step is done, your PC will deliver stable FPS, faster loading times, and nearly zero delay even in large Roblox games. Combined with the previous steps, Roblox now runs like a whole new game, cleaner, faster, and super smooth.